Hello everybody. This is my first time doing a soft-spoken video. So tell me what you think. I'm getting ready to buy a microphone because I know um, when I talk it doesn't sound as nice as I want it to. So today I'm going to show you my jewelry box. And this is a very special When I was a very small child, I told my grandmother I wanted this. And every time I would see her, I would tell her I wanted this. And when she got really sick, she gave it to me. But she's still alive. And I go see her every week. But I still have this box. First thing I want to show you is this because I'm slightly nerdy. Do you know what symbol that is? really need to go through and organize this because everything is tangled and I don't I don't understand how it could be so tangled. Anyway, I love ankle bracelets and for some reason I always lose them. So here's one that I haven't lost. This is a bracelet that opens and you can put it on your wrist. My boyfriend's mom got me this for Christmas one year. And this is something my boyfriend got for me. This is something that my other grandmother, I have, I have three sets of grandparents because my mother's adopted. So my mom's adopted mother got me this and this is really her style. She likes stones. Stones like that. I've never worn it, but I do. I think it's very unique and I'm going to keep it. And her husband gave me this, which is I think a child's ring, but he's never actually given me anything. 
you know, like actually pick something out. So when he handed this to me, I, it was important. So I kept it. Um, I got this in Boston. We went on vacation. We went to the uh, aquarium there. And we went on a big boat and went whale watching. And we saw whales. I really like fish. Little fish. this and I've never worn it. It's a charm bracelet. And of course it has a little cat because I love cats. And it's got a little heart that says love you to the moon. And I don't know. I think that's kind of it's cute, but it's not original. My mom used to say that. And I think it's, it's kind of a common phrase. And I really like original things. But it's still cute. I should wear this. It looks so small, I don't know if I can even get it on. I think I can. I'll wear it. Maybe tomorrow. He got me this a couple of years ago from Tiffany Company. And I like this. I like that it's kind of plain. But it has this heart. And on the back, it has the traditional, please return to Tiffany Company, New York. Okay, I'm trying to avoid the tangle, but there's a big tangle in here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's because this bracelet is magnetic, I think. Oh my gosh. I need to put this in its own bag. I bought this. My grandmother bought me these when I was little, and I, I lost them all. So, I went to Costa Rica last summer. And when I was in the airport waiting to go back home, this was in a little gift shop, and I decided to get one, even though I don't, I've never worn it, I don't think, maybe once, twice, it's not even. I don't know if I'll be able to get the rest of these things now. It's crazy. And it's not like I shake the box or go through it violently. It just, I don't know what happened. I can't wear earrings anymore because all of a sudden when I started wearing earrings, one day, they started hurting my ears really bad. 
can, I used to have no problem and I, I really like earrings, but I can't wear them. Here's a pair of hoops. Some people think hoops are trashy, but I like just these, the little black ones. Um, I think that the rest of this is just stuff I bought for myself. Oh, I do show you this. My high school senior chemistry teacher gave me this on the last day of school. And I like it a lot. It's her birthstone, so she can always be with me. And it really helps. I wear it for good luck. A lot, and I think it's really pretty. It's not a lot left. This is one of the ones I wear a lot. It's from Kohl's. Just a little light purple ball. This has a, a chain. My boyfriend got this for me a couple years ago. But the chain is somewhere else. Same story with this one. This is one of my favorite ones. The grandmother who gave me this gave me this one. And it's really special. And she did a really good job picking it out. Oh, it's got a tangle right there. It's just, it really fits me. And yeah, I remember trying to get this out the other day. It was hard, but I like this a lot. If you can hear that, it's my dog. He has the cat trapped by the door. I might go let her in. So, this is Mallow. I don't know if you remember her. She just got a bath today. And she is my baby. But you can't be up here. Okay. Okay. These earrings are really nice and I wish I could wear them. This is kind of silly. I have a friend and we we got these little best friend things. But then like the very next day she broke it, so I'm the one that has it. This is just a tiny glass. I really want to show you this one, but it's, it's really tangled. I don't know how this happened. Anyway, it's on here, but 
This is an owl. I think he's so cute. And lock it. Press the button. This is a necklace. It's a little, a little cat. She's so cute. Basically, my family just gets me cat stuff. I'm gonna try to put all of this in here kind of careful. For a second, this could be something to hold stuff in, but it's not. This, honestly, what I'm gonna do is just get plastic bags and put each thing in a plastic bag because they get so tangled, and it'll be easier that way. And just kind of random. I think my mother, she gave me this. I like signed up to be a bone marrow donor. And I'm still on the list. I like hair boots. My mother got me this a long time ago. And of course I drop it. This is my birthstone. So, let me know what you think. I prefer whispering 
I think. But, you know, it's whatever. At least you guys got to see Mallow. She is a very sweet. You know when I get my microphone. I don't know if it even closes anymore. I think it might be. Oh, no, I closed it. <laughs> Thank you. 